Fun fact. Walt Disney and Werner Von Braun were literally best friends. As you may know, Von Braun was a Nazi rocket engineer whose works were responsible for the deaths of thousands, and who was moved to the United States space program after World War II as part of the covert Operation Paperclip. So Disney actually has direct ties to Nazi Germany. It also meant that Walt Disney's vision for Tomorrowland was directly adjacent to America's vision for space travel in both its ideas about the future and its aesthetic presentation. Not everybody can be a robot polish shop. Space, 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 space camp. Why would one have a space camp? I used to work for a man named Warner Von Brown. He believed that the youth of America was a very valuable resource. And his concern was that we must prepare for the next generation of space travel. And to do that, we must have a bright, challenging young group of people coming up to, to meet the requirements of our next effort. And I am absolutely convinced the emphasis here on space is absolutely vital to our new world order. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. We must have a bright, challenging, young group of people. It will be many years yet before our plans can fully materialize. You ever think about the symbol of Disney World? The Disney symbol is the world under a dome. Disney World is under dome. a dome. On his uh, tombstone is one biblical passage. The heavens declare the glory of God. The firmament shows his handiwork. So let's recap. Disney's image is the world under a dome. Disney is best friends with Werner Von Braun. Von Braun, his only thing on his tombstone is Psalm 19.1, which says that not only God exists, but you can see his handiwork in the firmament. Why would one have a space camp? He believed that the youth of America was a very valuable resource. And his concern was that we must prepare for the next generation of space travel. And to do that, we must have a bright, challenging young group of people. Is it the future? Is it the key to reaching the stars? Or is it just five totally awesome days away from mom and dad? Fantasyland. Here is a world of imagination, hopes, and dreams. Magic and make-believe are reborn, and fairy tales come true. Fantasyland is dedicated to the young and the young in heart, to those who believe that when you wish upon a star, your dreams do come true. Time is eight, 1986. The place is a city of the future where a trip to the moon is an everyday thing. Time is eight, 1986. Discoveries that were miracles a few short years ago are accepted as commonplace today. Many of the things that seem impossible now will become realities tomorrow. It will be many years yet before our plans can fully materialize. And I am absolutely convinced the emphasis here on space is absolutely vital to our new world order. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order. And not everybody can be a robot polish shop. Ever wonder what those sparkly dots are up there? <laughs> I don't wonder. I know. I know. We feel that academia, as the holder of truth, plays an essential role, particularly today.